thanks for all the messages. I didn't know so many people had like hard drive questions or hard drive uh, issues. So um, I'm just going to like answer some of the stuff that has come back and show you some stuff. So here's the hard drive I bought yesterday. If you were asking, WD is Western Digital. And again, you don't have to. It's just what I prefer. So right when I plug it in, it shows this screen. So all that shows is some default files that WD has put on there when they gave it to you. Obviously, you've put no data on it, so you can completely reformat this drive so it's blank. So why is this important? People were asking me, they have hard drives that they use on PC, and then sometimes they plug into a Mac and it doesn't work, and vice versa. Same thing with thumb drives. So why is that? And why is this so important for DJs is sometimes you're DJing with your own laptop, might be a PC, sometimes you might have to plug your hard drive into someone else's computer and you guys are doing a tag team night, you need to work. And this is for little thumb drives too, okay, there's literally like, it could be a 5 gig thumb drive and it'll work on your Mac and not on your PC, and vice versa, like you might be a dancer giving songs over and it doesn't work. So, so what we're going to do is when we get that drive, we want to format it into extended FAT or FAT or FAT32, and all those things work, um, and you'll see which option you have on yours. FAT, also known as FAT format, sorry, I might be not saying the right thing there, but hey, I'll show you how to do it because I'm just plugging this brand new hard drive in. So I'm plugging the hard drive, here's WD stuff on here, I'm going to go here where it says D drive my passport, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go format. So it tells me how big the hard drive, a terabyte, NTFS is the default, that's where I want to click it and see it says extended fat. Um, so you want extended fat, the default kilobyte sector size is 256, because we're using mainly mp3s, that's fine, if you were doing like large video files as a backup, you might want to so I renamed the drive to EX FAT, so I know this drive is extended FAT, and I'm unchicking quick format because I wanted to do a full format to ensure there's nothing wrong with it. But the warning, everything's going to be erased, but I haven't put anything on here yet except the, what came with it, so I'm not worried about that. So go ahead, check OK, and then let it start to reformat that drive, and then you... So just so you're prepared, you can see how long this is actually going to take because it's literally creating a brand new drive. So just do it, give yourself some time, you know, work on your computer or whatever, just don't close it. So unlike backing up files, I was like, don't do it overnight because you usually get pop-ups. It's something like this you can do overnight and crash because rarely will you have an error message. It will just get and be done. I'm trying to say in a nice way is I probably should have done this last night, uh, but I wanted to watch Suits. And that's my problem. Say if you saw my podcast about traveling tips for DJs, you know, Adam H, who's been my mentor in music, just had that same issue. So I was saying, try to only take carry-ons and I'll post this message. So he just flew to a huge music conference called Midem and British Airways lost his luggage. Brutal. So remember, always try to only take carry-on bags if you can. All right, so now what I'm doing is I plugged in my old hard drive and that's fat, and I copied the DJ tracks folder from here to here, and then after I'll do the Serato crates, and again. And so this one's gonna take about four hours, but remember this one, you can't just leave and walk away, like you gotta keep checking on it, you can't just go to bed or something, because you gotta check out for the pop-ups that are gonna come up as you go. So I've been keeping all my music on hard drive, so all my crates are also on the hard drives, and I'm still using the same laptop. If your music is going from one computer to another, it's a similar process, but I'll show you guys. What you want to do is Google this exact phrase, backing up and moving your library to a new computer and the Serato form that comes up and now I'll walk you through just that. And so basically in that, there's one more step where you have to point the library to the new uh, folder. So I'm going to try that on one of my friend's laptops right now. But like I said, usually just to avoid this, I don't keep music on my computer. I'm always putting it onto my hard drive and then putting it from my hard drive into my Serato. So everything's always just referencing the hard drive. So what happened on this one is all the songs went over and the crates went over, but a lot of the track names aren't showing up. So I'm going to try what it said in the Serato form. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the DJ tracks folder on here and a computer of one of my DJs. And you can see my music isn't showing up. So I'm going to click the file button up here. And next, I'm going to click rescan ID3 tags. It's probably going to take a while. Just going through scanning them. Before I hit rescan, I had navigated in this window to my DJ tracks folder, and so it looks like it's only rescanning that, so it's not going through everything else, which is good. So while this computer is rescanning the ID3 tags, this one is still backing up, and like I said, remember you're going to get some pop-ups, so here I'm just going to skip these files. 
you guys this because now you can see like the unglamorous side and then tonight I'll have a sick gig and you get to see the glamorous side and that's what makes all this worth it. But there it is. Backup life, yo. So this laptop, this laptop was a success. It finished reading all the ID3 tags and all of those blank files that were in there but were blank are all filled in now. So just to recap what happened there, I put all of my music onto a hard drive and the Serato crates put it into the laptop. It was there but it didn't read. We rescanned the ID3 tags and boom. Here's what that infamous Serato folder is. See up here you gotta click hidden items and see how it pops up. There's that hidden Serato folder that has all your crates in it. Alright, we're four hours later and the DJ tracks has converted uh, copy over and now I'm just copying over the four Serato ones. And I have four because I use Scratch Live and Serato. So I copied these four, Scratch Live, Scratch Live by Serato. So I remember they're hidden and I dropped them over there and it says that it's going to take about 10 minutes uh, to be completed. Those crates shouldn't take too long, but in the backup, these are like live Serato recording. It's like live sets that I've recorded that I still haven't gone through and dumped out. So that would have sped up the process. So here's the moment of truth, and you can see, so this is the new hard drive. I ejected them both and plugged the new one back in, and it's loading the crates at the bottom. Here are the files, you can see everything is playing. There's a couple of things that aren't there, but that's because they probably weren't there anyway. All of this stuff is there, uh, so that's good. Um, and like I said, if you do get blanks, like we did with the other laptop, just rescan the ID3 tags, and that should solve that issue. All right, that's it. Let's go rock this party, yo. I'm gonna try to do like a tutorial like this every day. Um, and of course my top fives and stuff. Uh, all right, let's go smash this gig. And remember it's global party starters on all the social media places. All right, 